Let us study or start another topic from general surgery that is blood and blood transfusion. Let us start with the indications of blood transfusion. First, when there is acute blood loss from the body. Now this can be due to trauma, this can be due to surgery. Or this can also be due to massive upper or lower GI bleeds. So in case of acute blood loss, we are giving blood to the patient to replace the circulatory volume which has been lost and also to maintain the oxygen delivery to the tissues for its proper functioning. Second indication of blood transfusion is during the perioperative period because we know that during surgery there will be fluid loss, there will be blood loss. So, give, so we give the blood of the patient with anemia because they are the ones who are in severe chances of going into shock. Third indication of blood transfusion are the patients who have symptomatic chronic anemia. So now you have to know how much level of hemoglobin in the blood is there and how much amount of blood that we need to transfuse. So if the patient is having more than 8 gram per dl of hemoglobin, no need to go for blood transfusion. If the patient is 6 to 8 gram per dl, you have to go for blood transfusion in case of periop period. <laughs> now if the patient is less than 6 gram per dl, you have to give the patient blood transfusion. Now, if the patient's hemoglobin is less than 7 gram per dl, then you have to give blood transfusion if the patient is in ICU. Usually I said that 6 to 8 gram per dl, you have to give blood only in peri of period or the patient is in active breed. But if the patient is in ICU and 7 gram per dl, give blood. And if the patient is having 8 gram per dl, but in a cardiac surgery is going on, still you have to give blood. So in this video, we have talked about the indications of blood transfusion. In the next video, we will continue what happens to the blood after blood transfusion. Okay?